pattern, unusual colors or contours on the outsides of their spacesuits. Uh, it's uh, best to view those kinds of uh, areas uh, in dark areas with helmet light, spot bulbs. And that some additional shadowing can be seen if you look from oblique angles. The uh, mechanical uh, brushing off uh, technique used to get uh, oxidizer and fuel from thrusters uh, off the spacesuits doesn't work with ammonia. Instead, uh, sublimation is the best way to uh, get rid of that kind of contamination from the outsides of the spacesuits. Uh, part of that is just being out in the vacuum of space and in the sunlight. However, you can uh, help by uh, improving the heat transfer. Uh, using tools such as pry bars or other metal surfaces uh, you can use to help provide some heat transfer uh, uh, to the area of spacesuit where uh, any uh, ammonia is, is seen. Uh, the crews are trained to press a heated tool against the contaminated surface and then remove it allowing the uh, ammonia to sublimate into space. Uh, the two crew members will uh, check each other out and uh, perform any of these uh, techniques that are necessary. And then uh, after that's all complete, a bake-out clock will start. Uh, and that means that they have to uh, wait for 30 minutes uh, in the crew airlock before they uh, close the hatch uh, at the end of the spacewalk. The uh, team here in Michigan Control also will uh, voice up some uh, cautions to uh, Shannon Walker, who will be working to help get them back in the airlock after the EVA uh, with uh, respect to the potential for any ammonia that might uh, somehow make its way back into the equipment lock of the station. They do have a, a contamination kit uh, that's called uh, a dragger tube uh, that is uh, stowed in one of the crew lock bags and uh, basically uh, uh, it provides an indication of how much uh, ammonia is present at the time. I have my adjustable off of uh... I copy, Tracy. And what do you want me to do? Uh, see if you get a, I have my safety tether work them. Oh. Can, you, can you see my safety tether? I, uh... Behind my back, and I... I'm looking. Um... Yeah, it's going, oh, just lift your, um, your right foot. It's, uh... Okay, guys, looks like you're ready for uh, words on the inspection. Uh, um, not quite yet, Oscar. Okay. Don't take it. Um, and just for okay, your... Uh, if you come... Uh, Okay, well, if you go, now go starboard. Lift your right leg, bend your knee. There you go, you're clear of it now. Okay. Um, now stand by for six. They're coming in front of me. Wait, stand by for six. Okay, now, um, go, go straight, uh, Venus, if you can. Leg turns right in my eyes. Right, um, right now, the Urkum is over your, the back on your calf on the right. So, no, don't do that. Bend your knee again, and then swivel your toe outboard um, the, to the right. So, and if not, then I'm going to climb up here and get it off you.
Congratulations for the trust. Okay. Sorry. They're coming across in front of me. It's uh, right down your uh, right side. No. Oh. Starboard. Starboard. No. Starboard. No. Now pivot down. Thank you. I'll wait for you to go down and see this first. Right, go ahead. Go from Wills and Tracy, have okay, an update. Go ahead. Update. We want you guys to go ahead and head down to the airlock, and we'll do the inspection down there. Wills, can you release my, uh, my wait? Copy, Oscar. Wilson Tracy, just to let you know, we're at PET 707. Copy. Copy. I'm sorry, Oscar, I'm headed into the lock, um, airlock or at the airlock? At the airlock. Okay. Probably easiest to do the inspection just in front of the hatch. Okay. Okay, Oscar, I've got my, um, my fair lead, adjustable fair lead, heading back to the airlock now. Copy, Wheels. Tracy's on the airlock right now. Okay. Wills, can you see my helmet? Am I clear of your safety tether? Uh, yes, you are. 